hey hi good afternoon everyone i uh, yeah before we start we are going to talk about uh, like i think agriculture like agriculture is the second largest uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the world so we'll see how do we build a model around it to reduce it yeah so we are from krishi carbon and yeah. yes uh, krishi carbon so we itself have she in the name so it's oriented about the women farmers because in the tribal area men migrate to find the jobs and the women are left to do the farming on their own so krishi is the one the agriculture is the one sector which affects the climate and equally gets affected by the climate yeah let's start i am nagasai krishna son of a farmer and co-founder of krishi carbon yeah i am anjali rose i am co-founder of krishi carbon and i am daughter of a farmer from haryana yeah before starting krishi carbon uh we have worked in a startup in agritech startup scaled it from 50 farmers to 6000 farmers so today we are here to share story of minati story of minati munda a tribal women farmer from jharkhand so basically in 2022 she is a mother of two and she owns size uh, land size of 2 acres in 2022 minati thought because more and more chemical uses is degrading her land so she should switch to the sustainable agricultural practices but she incurred a loss of 40% in her annual income and there was also lost in the yield which was 30% she was disappointed and in 2023 she again thought i can't have this loss and i should switch back to the chemical intensive farming but that did not work for her either because of the unseasonable rainfall and because of the pest attack so basically this is not the story of just one farmer this is the 100 million small holder indian farmers so yeah so how do we solve this agriculture is not working for any one of us right so yeah i think that yeah so what we do is uh, the model that we should work is region plus plus so where regenerative agriculture we leverage carbon markets to actually incentivize farmers to adopt sustainable farming and also provide long term uh, hand holding to these farmers so how will we incentivize we work with group of farmers and make them adopt nature based solutions like regenerative agriculture and biochar and like like register a carbon project then monetize these carbon credits and pass the maximum share to the farmers so how will adoption happen long term adoption happen like where we go via digital model where there is a physical ag agronomy advisory along with the uh, along with uh, technology and is it profitable even is it profitable even to implement it yes it is profitable and how much farmer has to invest literally nothing and they can actually earn uh, like the to make this transition actually per farmer we need 800 rupees and it can actually generate 10 lakh rupees additional stream of income for these farmers yeah thank you so much Thank you. 